I have been waiting a long time to review this one. Sonic CD for the Sega CD. Sonic CD is sometimes considered to be the best Sonic game ever created. It's also the most underrated. Why? Because when the Sega CD was released, it did not do too well because of its price and lack of good games. Sonic CD was one of the few good games that was on the Sega CD. And Sonic CD was also ported to the PC. The only problem with the PC version that I have heard was that it was not as good as the Sega CD version. I don't really think that's much of a complaint, but whatever. Well, anyway, when I got Sonic CD, I was a little kid, and I got the PC version. When I first got it, I was just expecting like a point-and-click Sonic game. But to my surprise and joy, it was a good old classic 2D side-scroller Sonic game. Well, anyway, let's get to the review. One month out of every year, a little planet appears in the skies above a lake called Never Lake. This little planet contains seven gems that control the passage of time and bend the barriers between past and future. Learning about this, Dr. Eggman goes to the little planet and plans a scheme to take over it. Luckily, Sonic finds out Eggman's plot and plans to get the gems before him. Sonic also has to save Amy and defeat Metal Sonic. This was the first Sonic game to introduce Amy and Metal Sonic, which is kind of cool. And so basically, Sonic has to collect the time gems, which replace the Chaos Emeralds in this one. You collect them the same way you collect the emeralds. You collect 50 rings or more and jump through the giant ring at the end of the level. The special stages, on the other hand, are a little different from the last two. In the special stages, you play Sonic in 3D, a little similar to what you did in Sonic 2, but Tails isn't around and it's a little different. But anyway, you have to destroy all of these robots, and if you destroy all of them, you get a time gem. And Sonic CD also involves time travel. Here's how it goes. When Sonic runs past a future sign or a past sign, he will start glowing blue, provided you get enough speed. And if you get enough speed, Sonic will either go forward in time or back in time. I gotta be back in time. The game plays almost completely the same as the other two Sonic games, however, there are a few new features. Like I said in the special stages, you can play Sonic in 3D, but Sonic can perform the spin dash two different ways. The first is if you hold down and type A, B, or C, or whatever, Sonic charges in the position he looks like when he jumps. If you press up instead, he does this little pose. This little pose that Sonic makes soon became a trademark to Sonic. If you notice that in the Sonic games these days, when Sonic runs, he holds his arms back. The music in this game is so beautiful. You will absolutely love it. Here, you have to listen to a few songs. Graphically, the game looks fantastic. There's so much color and details and everything, you might even find yourself looking at some of the backgrounds. Oh crap. Let's get him! 
Whatever you say, Sonic. Sonic CD is the greatest Sonic game ever created. You will love every minute of Sonic CD, from its wonderful story, its beautiful graphics and music, and its perfect gameplay. I can't find any problems with this game. I give it a 10 out of 10.